Hello everyone and thank you for joining me as we dive into the latest features coming to Solo Studio Pro. My name's Sam Fitton, the inventor of Solo, and in the next few minutes, we'll be taking a look at these exciting new updates that once again are raising the bar on what you can expect from professional show queue software. I've got my iPad at the ready, so let's walk through this update together, starting with the updates to existing features and then moving on to the brand new features themselves. Let's go. One of my favorite features of Solo Studio Pro is the backdrop feature. But I don't know about you, but I found it difficult to read what the name of the queue was when it was colored in bright blue. So instead, we've replaced that bright blue tile with an even brighter blue outline, like a, a border that goes around that queue. And you can see it there in the top left-hand corner of the iPad. This is the new way that we'll be denoting special tiles within the home screen of your app. Now, it's really easy to see. I can read it much clearer now as well in the middle of that tile and it just makes it stand out. So that's one of the little tweaks that we've made to an existing feature, which we think will fall in line with all of the other special tiles that will be coming in the future. That's a little bit of a hint. The next two tweaks happen inside a queue and they're so simple, but so effective. The first is visible volume control. And that is simply the ability to see the exact volume that your volume slider is set to, making it really easy to adjust volumes on the fly and to know what previous volumes were set on a track. So that is as simple as that. And the second thing is you'll notice that perfect timing is grayed out. The reason why it's grayed out is because there's no delay set on this track. And of course, perfect timing doesn't work without a delay. So all you do is enable that delay and immediately perfect timing becomes available and you can then toggle it on. Now I really like this because it reminds me to turn perfect timing on when I want it because I've got that shift from something that's grayed out to something that's visible. Now likewise, if you were to disable the delay, the perfect timing option also gets disabled, which again acts as a little reminder to me that in the future, should I want that delay, it's right there perfect timing and reminds me to add that game changing feature to my queue. In the last major update to Solo Studio Pro, we released Show Mode, and the feedback has been phenomenal, so thank you to everyone who's been in touch. But unsurprisingly, a few tweaks needed to be made as we rolled it out to everybody. And one of the pieces of feedback that we got that we've acted upon is text sizing on smaller devices. So if you're using an iPhone or iPad mini, the text now inside the tiles of the queues will automatically resize, making it easier to read your queues from a distance. Now there's a fine balance here because we don't want to make it too small that you can't read it, but too big and you can't read the full information. So we hope we found that balance correct and it will be available now, the responsive text sizing automatically inside the next update to Solo Studio Pro. The other thing that we noticed as well was the text spacing between the note title and the body text was a bit difficult to read at a distance. So we've also improved that. If I'm opening up the notes here and I'm gonna cue this, you can see that quite clearly I can see remember and the client thank you reminding me to do so at the end of my show. So a few more changes to bring you up to speed with all happen pretty much within the core of the app. Now the first thing is we've increased the video file size limit to 500 megabytes. This means you can bring in longer, higher quality videos to use in your shows. The second thing we've done is inside the main settings area to level shift, we have added a toggle switch which controls the fade in and fade out. So if you want the volume to fade from high volume to low volume, you simply toggle that switch to on. If you don't want that and you want the volume to immediately jump from being high volume to low volume, you turn it off and as simple as that. The last thing we've changed is inside the tools menu in the top right hand corner and it's to the solo account area. Now we've had a bit of a rearrange here to make the user interface just a lot nicer and easier to use. And for new users that create a solo account, you'll no longer need to provide information. That's all done automatically in the back end, and you'll instead be given a unique user ID. This is true for all existing solo account holders as well. This unique user ID allows us to identify you within our system should you need any further support.
I am super excited to introduce the first brand new feature in this latest update to Solo Studio Pro, and that is a completely redesigned shows menu. Now I know what some of you are thinking, hang on Sam, isn't that just an update to an existing feature? Well, you'd sort of be right, but when you see what we've done with it, you will agree that this deserves its place as a brand new feature, because this changes how you will practically use and move your shows around and you'll see what I mean. Now you can access this through the theater masks like you always have, and you'll be presented with a completely new design, but something that is entirely familiar. And that's because it looks like this. Now these tile icons work exactly the same way as they would when you import standard cues into your show. If you want to change the order of these shows, you now can, the exact same way like you would with cues. You can press and hold, let's say my cabaret show, and I can move it up to here, changing the priority as I see fit depending on me as a performer, offering that extra flexibility. Now you'll also notice that one of these shows is green, and that's because it's our current active show. Whichever show you go into and come out of will be the active show. And that's important because there is a little settings icon in the top right hand corner. What could it possibly do? Well, I am pleased to announce that another extra feature we've thrown into this is the ability to duplicate shows. Now this has got to be one of the most requested things people have asked for, and it is fantastic in fairness, it's brilliant. And it saves you so much time, so much effort, and it copies across all of the cues, all of the settings, all of the trims, all of the tags, everything is copied. So I'm gonna show you a quick demo of that very quickly by going into this small show, which is my MCM one for my local Magic Club, which as you can see has six cues here of varying types. Now if I go back to the shows menu, I'm gonna press that settings cog on that tile and I'm gonna hit duplicate. And when I do, guess what? That show is gonna be duplicated. Now it will be give you a rough approximation of how long it's gonna take in percent before then completely cloning all of that data. And as you can see, it's already done it for this show and you can see it has given me a new show called MCM-Copy. And now when I go into that show, you can see I have exactly the same queue set up, the exact same settings, everything is as it should be. Now this is Brill and I'm gonna go move that to here and I'm gonna change the order because why not? But there is one more feature that I wanted to introduce you to inside this show's menu. And hopefully if I snap my fingers, it should appear. And that is a search bar. Because there are people that use Solo that have literally dozens, if not hundreds of shows. And it can be really hard to skim through the list to find the exact show that you want, especially quickly. Well, this search bar allows you to find the show instantly. So we're gonna click into the search shows area, the keyboard appears, and I'm gonna type in wedding. And as you can see, it immediately filters it and finds the wedding show. I'm going to search for tricks and immediately brings up my trick show and I can tap that show and go straight into it. No messing about. This is about making it as quick and easy as possible for everybody. The next incredible feature I want to introduce you to is the ability to turn an audio cue into a hit cue. But what is a hit? Well, a hit is the ability to play a sound effect, special effect, piece of music in your show whenever you like without disturbing the natural order that you might have if you were using the go mode. So this means that you have literally the ability to play those sound effects whenever you like during your show and not have to worry about the go mode sequence. It genuinely is what Solo is all about, that freedom to do anything you want in any order. And these hits allow you to do it. So how do you turn an audio cue into a hit? Well, you just need a little button. I'm really gonna have to stop doing that, I'm so sorry. But anyway, you can see that this bright pink button appears, which says make hit on it, with two arrows doing this. Now when you press that button, it immediately turns that audio cue with all of its settings into a, hit, into a hit. So we're gonna do that and it becomes a hit cue. Now you can tell it's become a hit because the button changes to say make a cue instead of make a hit, basically acting as a toggle switch between being an audio and a hit. And in the top left hand corner, you can also see it's changed to hit settings from audio. If I was to hit it again, it goes back to being an audio cue. And if I press it again, it goes back into being a hit cue. 
But what does that look like in the main app interface? Well, you get this amazing bright pink border around that audio file, letting you know that that is now a hit cue. And this is super cool because it's super visual, super easy. You can place it anywhere you want on the show and it will be completely ignored by Go Mode, which is what I'm about to demonstrate. So for example, if I were playing, let's say, Fresh Prince mashup, yeah? Uh, and I scan my Go Tag, which is what I'm gonna do on Solo. Now I'm gonna hold that down and it will naturally fade it out because I have double tap. I scan again, it plays the walk on music, great and I'm gonna fade that out using double tap. But check this out. I'm now gonna scan it again, and the old way, it would have now played Elton John, but it's not going to. It's going to jump straight to the American Authors track. And now I'm gonna fade out using double tap. And now, check this out. I'm gonna play Elton John. I'm gonna play that track, and I can still use double tap on the go tag to fade it out for me. And this is the cool thing. You would now think that American Authors should play again when I hit the go button, but it doesn't. Baywatch does instead, which is the one that was after American Authors in our go mode sequence. So as you can see, this hit feature allows us some awesome, awesome possibilities because we can now play whenever we want those hit cues at any point in our show. And that is a brand new hit cue that you can convert from any audio file inside your show. The next feature I'm excited to show you revolves around our incredible live camera feature, which I use in my shows and I hope you're loving using it as well. But if we go into the live camera, you can see the preview in the bottom left hand corner and there is a small addition been made to the settings and that's in the bottom right hand corner of that preview, you can see a 1x or one times magnification. And that's because when you tap that circle, it allows you to zoom in on the object. So for example, if I make this full screen so you can all see it nice and clearly, and I was to tap that 1x in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that I can now zoom in to any degree I want up to five times magnification. And then when I press it again, we go back out to the wide normal view. Now this means that you can frame up your camera shots on stage or in live performances, making sure the camera is out of the way whilst zooming in on the details so that your audience get to see everything nice and clearly without a camera obstructing the view. Now at the moment, you can only set this up before the queue is fired. It won't change in the live camera view while you're actually using the camera. This is just to be used before. So you can now cue that live camera and be sure that the right thing is in focus. Since we introduced Solo and Solo Studio Pro to the world, I have had loads of excited emails and messages of people with ideas, uh, suggestions, customizations, and third-party app integrations to make Solo Studio Pro even more powerful. And some of those suggestions were truly mind-blowing, and I'd love to do them all. However, that isn't possible. But I thought, well, how can we have all of these awesome third-party app integrations, but without it costing the people who would probably never use those features in the first place? And that's when I had an idea for what I'm calling the Upgrade Marketplace. Now, you can access the Upgrade Marketplace by pressing the plus icon in the top right-hand corner and going down to the green button, which says Upgrades. And then what will appear will be a list of all of the third-party app integrations that we're offering for Solo Studio Pro. Now what this allows is for you to completely tailor your show control experience and system for you as an individual performer. You can add in or not, and you can choose all of these things at will to make the system as flexible and personal to you as possible. And if you have an amazing customization idea, we can even make it just for you. Hit that button there to get in touch under the custom integration section and we'll happily work with you to make something that is truly mind-blowing. But without further ado, I'd like to now jump in to share with you this incredible first integration that we'll be offering inside the Upgrade Marketplace. The first integration that I'm proud to introduce is with the Stranger system. 
Now, if you are a user of the Stranger system, this is completely game changing when it comes to Solo Studio Pro because what you're now able to do is integrate all of that live data you're collecting from your audience and display it inside your show notes of Solo Studio Pro. And once you've added that integration, you will have the ability inside any queue to add a list of short codes which pull the specific data you want to display in those show notes. So for example, if I was to go into my Fresh Print mashup and I was to go into the notes section, you can see that I've added a short code for number. And then I've got some normal text and then a short code for the word ellipse. And what will happen is in the show mode itself when I'm running a show, these short codes will be converted into the real data, pulling it live from the stranger servers and displaying it for you to see. So that in real time, you have the information that your audience has simply tapped in on a phone, written on a notepad, or has secretly written somewhere else. You have access to that inside your show notes, which is completely mind blowing. You can literally, just by glancing at your show control system, have all the information you need to create a killer magic and mentalism show. So, how do you do it? Well, once we've added in those short codes, we're gonna go into show mode, I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm going to open up notes, and I'm gonna click Fresh Prints. And as you can see, I'm live fetching that information, and it displays one, two, three, four, which is the number, and Night Shift, Commodores Forever, which is the information from Ellipse, as well as displaying any show notes like the info here that I've placed in this track. And it's as simple as that. So that is the brand new Stranger integration for Solo Studio Pro. It is incredible and it has taken my performance of Stranger from here to here on stage. It's genuinely amazing and I can't wait for you to dive into it. Now I have one more little special update for you. And when I say little, it really is. It's just a toggle switch. But what this toggle switch enables is something far more powerful than I ever could have imagined. And that is the ability to auto show and hide your notes when you're in show mode. Now, how do you set that up? Well, if you go into your track, I'm gonna use the Fresh Prints one again. I'm gonna click on the notes. You will see through the magic of television that an auto show hide in show mode toggle has appeared at the top of the note. By simply toggling this, I have the ability to show and hide that note automatically when I cue that particular cue in show mode. So, how does that work in practice? Well, if I go into my show, you can see that my notes are currently closed, but when I hit Fresh Prints, the note automatically opens and fetches the live data using the Stranger Integration add-on, which you can purchase in the Upgrade Marketplace. And it shows me the information, reminding me of key things in my show that I might need to know, like the names of participants, the booker, the client, or secret information that I need to look at, like this information from Stranger. And then, when I fade out that cue or stop it, it automatically closes the note, allowing me to see all of my remaining cues in my show. So how awesome and powerful is that? So, so simple, so direct, so easy, and honestly has elevated my performance again into a different level because it's giving me live reminders that pop up on screen that give me that information I need in the moment that make me look even more professional. So that's the update using show notes.